So let's start this video out a little different. Let's just put this up right off the bat. Mark Sherman, fine tuned CB. There you go. Your Mexico Attorney General's investigating you. Why? Because you're a fraud. Because you stole money from people and you didn't give them their radios. Anybody that doubts it can go to the New Mexico Attorney General site and find it. It started out as a comment thread right under where they went after Kia and Hyundai for easily stolen vehicles, right? Wow, looky there, there it is. And what's he say? He says, this is under investigation. If you have been affected personally and not already submitted a complaint to our office, please do so. There's the web address. So, there's no denying it, Sherman. You're a fraud. You're a fake. You're a thief. And I want to emphasize that word, thief. So, I want to show people some things here. This is his old page right here, right? Supposedly got hacked. Well, you can believe what you want. It doesn't matter, but... Let's get past this irrelevant shit here, and let's get down here. Every post on his page, his old page, was trashing other people. Nothing but negativity, right? Here's his new page. Wow. Same game, different day. Not one positive thing on that page. Nothing showing how he excels and is better than other techs in reality. It's just slamming people. Slander, libel, right? He trashes them because, oh wait, there's one positive. He loves that dog. That dog loves him. And you talk about that dog like some guy was. Said something about putting him in a microwave. That sets him off. I wouldn't recommend that. But, you know, he likes to post pages that show shit that he can screenshot. He never shows himself working actual equations. He claims to be an engineer, but he's not. I am. I can back it up. I'm not an electrical or a, a radio engineer, but I'm an oil and gas engineer. So anytime you want to have a debate fucked hard, I'm right here. I'll do it publicly. I don't care. I'll even pay you for your time just to have fun with your dumb ass. All right. So now that we've made the point on his Facebook pages that they're nothing but negative, let's go over here. Let's look at this. And, well, we gotta go up here and we gotta go like this. That way it doesn't. There, that way it showcases it. This is his YouTube page. Wow, same shit. Nothing but negative. Slamming and slandering other people. Why? because he can't put a legitimate video up showing anything that's positive. You know, when you can't build yourself up through your own reputation and your own work, it's easier to tear people down. And that's all he does. I mean, hell, I could keep going forever here. But I'm gonna give you some examples Sherman has, for years, played this game even on every forum available out there. And he has on Facebook right now, we've tracked 28 separate profiles, troll accounts based off IP addresses that he uses to spend all of his time. Let's go back over there because that's the important part. If you go to his page, you look, there's no comments. 
Why? Because he deletes them. You might see a positive one once in a while, or you might see some that there's missing context because he deletes the negative. But for the most part, many will claim that he has, what's he say up here? 10,000 views since it was published. Well, what he doesn't tell you is that he pays for clicks. The same thing you or I can do. But you go to his other page. Let's go back because it's a better example. Where is the golden brands? Let's go back and look at comments here. Find one of his posts. This is the one that he lost control of, you know? So you can see that he lost control. There's everyone here is saying the same thing. Durr, back to the bench. There's not one positive thing on Mark Sherman. None. Nowhere. You can't find it. Now let's go back here. These are just tippets from DX World Forum and everything else going clear back to 2015. Now I could keep going with this shit, but I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm just gonna remind you all that you're smarter than this. Frying. Go to the Attorney General. Make sure you can't scam nobody else. And for anyone else that's looking to do business with this dude, use your brain. You don't see Chevrolet or GM or Coors or Miller Lite or anyone else going through this kind of trouble. Trashing their competition in a desperate attempt to drive business their way. No. There's a place out there for everybody. Every tech, every radio manufacturer, every beer, brewery, doesn't matter, car manufacturers, there's room for everyone. And not one of them are going to go through this much trouble to scare people away from their competition. If you gotta scare people away from your competition to get their work, you're not legit. So let's close this one out, Mark Sherman. Rabbit pork chop, whatever your fucking name is today. You got a whole army of troll accounts and you spend all of your time going around deleting shit because you can't handle the truth. Why don't you come on out and show your face? Why don't you show anybody your face, Mark? Hmm? Why don't you ever show your face? Why does everybody here see this but you the funny thing is is you played that game of getting people's profiles killed on facebook by claiming when they shared your shit and screenshots that's copyright infringement well guess what that's not a legal business entity you don't own shit not unless you're gonna pay the money like us legitimate business people and start a legal entity that picture that's a stolen picture as well you're a thief you have nothing legitimate. And what are you going to do? Are you going to report this for copyright infringement? Huh. New Mexico Attorney General acknowledged it. You're a thief. Facebook may have killed a lot of profiles. And YouTube may fail to acknowledge that you're bullying tactics. And so does Facebook. But we're going to shut your ass down. Have a good day.